I can think of a couple possible scenarios, but I can't say either one thrill me. Hello, Angry Spork here. A couple of days ago, on June 11th, Bleeding Cool posted an article that I came across the next day. It's about a one-shot called Batman The Joker War Zone, which I guess is a tie-in to the upcoming Joker War event, or story arc, or however you want to categorize it. Now, here is the synopsis for the one-shot. Gotham City is a battleground as the Joker takes over the Wayne fortune and wages a street war against the Dark Knight and his allies. Enter the war zone on September 29, with short stories featuring characters like Cassandra Cain, Stephanie Brown, and Luke Fox, and see how they're fighting back in a city under siege! Also, the brutal full debut of the mysterious new anti-hero known as Clown Hunter! Considering Tinian uh, is involved, and it also includes a couple characters that he just did a poor job reinventing, to varying degrees of poor job. I'm willing to bet that if there's even one story with these characters, he's going to be the one writing it. Because why learn from your mistakes? The article also had several images. Joker, I guess, taunting Bane, who's restrained somehow. And an image of, spoiler alert, and Casino motorcycling into a group of Joker henchmen, I guess. I didn't notice at first, but the more I look at that motorcycle, it, it looks like kind of a custom job. It doesn't really look like an average motorcycle, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just just kind of weird looking. It's like a motorcycle scooter type of thing. A couple other images in there, but one in particular I want to point out because it's just kind of a deviation is something that looks like an alternate cover. It's got a painted aesthetic to it. And at the bottom, we see the new character called Clown Hunter. Just not going to get into that right now. And then we see, spoiler alert, and then we see a Batgirl-era Cassandra. Now, does this mean that Cassie's going to be Batgirl again? I suppose it's possible. I mean, there's nothing in the article or the synopsis that suggests it's going to happen. There are a couple of different possibilities here that, you know, maybe the artist just decided, okay, I'm going to put Cassandra in her Batgirl togs just for fun, but I kind of doubt that if this is supposed to tie into an existing arc in the current continuity. Or maybe it was like he was told to do that, and it's all just another big tease, because, you know, Tinian likes to tease, <laughs> and then give you a very unsatisfying conclusion. Or... It is entirely possible that in this arc, either in the Joker War or maybe in this one shot, it's going to tie into Cassandra becoming Batgirl or just getting back into the Batgirl costume. If the latter is the case, I can't say that I'm thrilled. Not just because Tinian is the one going, that's probably going to be writing it, because he's, he's just not that good of a writer. He, he is not the worst writer I've ever read, but... There's just something about his writing that seems to think that it's smarter than it is, deeper than it is, more poetic and meaningful than it really is. I am aware that there are some Cassandra fans who wanted her to be Batgirl again for the longest time, even before the orphan nonsense. I get it. I understand it. Because she was turned evil, and she came back to being Batgirl, and almost immediately after, gave the identity to Stephanie. So I kind of get it. I, I know I felt a little disappointed when that happened, but as time went on, I got to appreciate that she got her own identity. That, yes, does speak to who Cassandra is better than the name Orphan does. The problem was the whole turning evil thing. If they had instead just had her pick up a new identity, call her Black Bat, after spending time as a wanderer away from the Batgirl identity, then that would have been one thing. Me? I didn't want her to become Batgirl again. I was okay with her being Black Bat. This pandering little table scrap from James Tinney IV fixes absolutely nothing from what he screwed up. Stupid freaking retcons. The problem with the orphan identity is that it's entirely about some other character. 
and it does not speak to who Cassandra is because she feels lonely. It's like an inside joke Tinian has with himself. It makes sense to him because he thought it up. But when you really dissect it and compare it to the original origin, things start falling apart. It seems like, oh, he's going to pander to Cassie's fans who want to see her as Batgirl again and think like, oh, this is just like it was before, but cement his very lousy replacement origin. It is just distraction. Just like his poetry, just like his constantly having characters cry all the time, giving them excuses to cry and cry and cry and then hug and then cry some more. The Hallmark Movie Channel is cringing at how emotionally manipulative Tinian is. I mean, I could be wrong. I'll admit it. Maybe it's going to go in a different direction. But with Tinian at the helm, I have no reason to think it's going to be a good direction. Unless he decides to formally abandon the whole orphan retcon entirely and just get Cassie back to being Black Bat and move on from there. In which case, I would actually, I don't know about buying the Joker War or any of Tinian's Batman run, but I would definitely start picking up Bat titles again. I am a little curious how this affects the DC timeline that indicated Cassandra was going to debut as Batgirl in a refined continuity. Tinian just making her Batgirl after years of the ludicrous orphan retcon seems to stand in a very stark and unpleasant contrast to what it seemed the new timeline was promising. I read Tinian stuff, and it is at best mediocre. I can see that he doesn't really develop characters or their relationships. He kind of distracts readers with elements that other writers were pulling off before him much better. Like, oh, here's a line of dialogue. That sounds like the something the character would say before this whole stupid reboot stuff. And he just does this fast forwarding. Like, now this character is this. Now these characters are friends. Now this is like that. Because that's how it was before the reboot. And so now you think this is just as good as before the reboot. And, or you, you're, you're supposed to. And I just, I just, I just don't buy it. In more ways than one. It just seems so shallow and lazy, it feels like it's a big distraction. Tinian's writing feels like it's one distraction after another, whether it's his, you know, emotional narratives, i.e. making characters cry, or his lackluster poetry. It's, it's, it's all just there to distract you, to try and get you to feel something, and ignore the fact that, you know, there's a slew of plot holes, or characters acting just maybe out of character. I just, I have no reason to think that if Tinian makes your back go again, oh, well, that fixes everything. It doesn't fix anything. It's just him continuing to ignore the problem. It's him continuing to ignore his own mistakes. It's him just trying to, you know, force this idea that, oh, he knows how Cassie would act. He knows what Cassie's like. I didn't get any clue during the Eternal books that he knew who Cassie was besides girl who does the kung fuing. Ask yourself, after he took away an actual journey Cassie took to get over what she did, the actual poetry that was her story, and the heart that went into it, when he decided to take all that and throw it in the trash, what did he add? Seriously, I want, I want to know, what did he add fundamentally to Cassandra that not only necessitated that kind of reinvention, but also made any kind of improvement on it? What did Tinian add to Cassandra's story, to her character, that was not already present, that was so necessary, everything else had to be thrown out? What did he add? And I've seen people defend Tinian's retcon, but they've never really gotten that intricate in their defense. Now, it's their prerogative, of course. They don't have to analyze things the way I do. They don't have to get all in-depth with a microscope and all this. But if Tinian is going to say that the orphan identity speaks to who Cassandra Kane and Black Bat doesn't, he is opening the gates to an analytical discussion comparing the two versions of Cassandra. 
and when you actually dissect what he says and what he wrote, you come to a conclusion that, no, his version of Cassandra is not that much like the previous version of Cassandra. This has always been my problem. Not that she's not Batgirl anymore, and I've said on numerous occasions, she is my favorite Batgirl. And I know that she is the favorite Batgirl to many other people. But just slapping the old costume on her doesn't mean that he didn't change her unnecessarily. And I feel I have to stress this. My criticisms of Tinian and his writing are just that. About the writer and what he's written. It is not a criticism on anyone who is a fan of Tinian or just does not dislike what he did with these characters. I've heard people, you know, just fawn over how he made Cassie and Clayface friends, but someone on the DC Universe uh, streaming sites forums, I, I made a remark that, oh, they, they were probably, they probably like met on one page and then became bestest friends two, one or two pages later. And someone responded, yeah, more or less, that's what happened. I'm being succinct here, but... Uh, <laughs> If you like Tinian stuff, fine. We're gonna disagree. This isn't like, oh, you just don't like it because it's different. You just don't like it because you don't handle change well. You just don't like it because you're mean and you like to kick puppies. No. I don't like it because it's fundamentally bad. And I see Superman get to basically throw all his New 52 stuff out the window. Not all of it, but most of it. And here's Cassandra, one of my favorite characters of all time, and she's still got this lousy origin that treats her like an afterthought. If, if Tinian had established that none of the origin retcons he wrote stuck, if he had picked these characters up where they left off pre-Flashpoint, uh, pre okay, I, I would have given him a shot. Despite how poorly I thought the Eternal books were, I would have given him a shot but he decided to stick with his writing because it's his writing. I don't care how often he makes characters cry. I don't care how many Easter eggs and hints he uh, snuck in there. I don't care how much bad poetry he uses. He did a bad job. And if he's not going to fix the mistake, then step aside for someone who will. I know I'm screaming into the void here, but I got nothing better to do. Now, remember, if you saw my... Valentine's Day shipping vlog from a couple of years back. I mentioned that a study suggested that people can form attachments to fictional characters as strongly as they do to real people. Now that's just not, oh, I really like Cassandra. I wish she was Black Bat again. And I wish they'd pick her up where she left off, where she was a developed character who had strength instead of this infantilized version. I think it also works to a different degree. Similar, but to kind of like an opposite capacity, if you will. The people who love Cassandra, as much as I do, possibly more, will accept Orphan because, you know, they just want to see their friend again. They want to see this character that they've known for a long time, feel have gotten the short end of the stick, gotten screwed over so many times because of dumb decisions. Not every box was checked off, but maybe certain boxes were checked off in such a way that they were able to accept Orphan, whereas I was not. And I can understand that, but I still don't agree, because I think that there are fundamental problems with the Orphan retcon, and a lot of that was chucking a lot of what made Cassandra special and unique and made her dynamics with other people interesting to read rather than Tinian's version where this happened, this happened, this happened. It's like, here's point A, here's point B, and what Tinian does, he starts at point A, and instead of going to point B and traveling whatever road leads there, he just goes in a completely different direction, and when he decides to stop, that's what point B is. So I guess that's the extent of what I have to say. Probably rambled on too long. I will see you later. Take care. Stay safe. God bless you.